Hello, YouTube. I like you to meet Teddy. He's from SurvivalsUnite.com. He wants us to tell you a little bit about preparedness kits for him and his buddies. If you got a pet, you should have a preparedness kit for him for any disaster. He's kind of worried about everybody. You know, at any disaster, our pets are the ones that suffer. As we run out of the house, we don't even, well, a lot of people, we wouldn't, but a lot of people do. You know, don't know where they're at. Gotta worry about them. This is it right here. This is our 72 hour pet preparedness kit. Now, Teddy, he's only a little 30 pound dog. We got a couple bigger ones. So, they require, you know, for one, a lot of water, a good amount of food. These kits are good for dogs of all sizes. Now, come with a water dish, food dish, your pet first aid kit that actually hooks on a belt loop. They get a bad cut. You got a blood stopper. Plenty of water. Lots of water. This all has a five year shelf life too. Two bags of it. Food. Also has a five year shelf life. It's a healthy formula too. There you go. We also have these for cats also too. Now, a reflective leash or collar. Everything is going to be visual here. So at night they can be seen when you're walking them. Leash, reflective. A couple of light sticks you can hook to their collar. You don't want them to get ran over anything in chaos. This will help them to be seen. Some little doo-doo bags. I don't know how many are here though. I think we put in eight, five. Anyway, some doo-doo bags. A couple blankets for them to roll up in. And if you got some downtime, a little toy. You can exercise them. Couple treats, can opener. That's also got a spoon on the end of it so you can mix stuff up. There's room in here, you can add to it. You can add more stuff in here. Utility cord, orange, bright orange, so you can tie them up if you have to. It's nylon. Then, a little preparedness pet, which dedicated just to your pet for an emergency. Now this bucket too is useful. If you're in a FEMA camp or somewhere, this can haul water for you. Or other things. Okay. Now we got um, an email and actually a call from another company who's seen our preparedness kits for pets. And they said, you know, we have something too. Their motto is, don't leave your pet behind. They come up with this muzzle because you know how, especially if you have dogs, how they are. If they feel threatened or they think you're threatened, they will protect. That's their nature. So they come up with these muzzles. You guys need to check them out. It's ProGuardPet.com. I'm going to show you a little. They sent us one to show you. These are really nice. They're not like your old barbaric ones, but chain them up. They're actually not bad looking. Great air capacity. And they're really easy to put on. If I can catch Teddy here, I'll put this on him and show you. Teddy. Come here, Teddy. Teddy, come here. Come on. Okay. Come here, Teddy. Just put it over their nozzle, put this back, tighten it down, 
and done. It's that simple. But see how easy he can breathe? He's got a lot of room in there. But yet, if he wanted to attack, you know, monsters or anything, he wouldn't be able to hurt them. And if you're walking into a FEMA camp or around people, you tighten it right there, there it's on. But look how nice that is. Very easy to take back off. Very, very nice. Well made. And very humane muzzle. I never liked muzzles on animals. But this isn't bad. Good job. So, always be prepared at survivalsunite.com. Go check out proguardpets.com. If you have dogs, you need to get one of these for your preparedness kit. They have them in all sizes, clear down to little, looks like little poodle size. You know, they're the worst biters. But they're all the way up to big dog. This right here, it's like a Rottweiler. But, folks, don't leave your pets behind. Thank you.